Now back to our top story. Nebraska state troopers have a lot of ground to cover. Hundreds of miles that make up the I-80. They have become a contraband pipeline. Tonight, a behind the scenes look at what troopers are up against. Reporter Maya Sines went for a ride along and here's what she found. In 2018, Nebraska State Patrol saw an increase in contraband and stops they made, especially with drugs related to the opioid crisis. Tonight, we rode along with the State Patrol Lieutenant to see how they're tackling the surge in these types of stops. We'll go ahead and make contact here and see what, what we have. The Nebraska State Patrol says there's an uptick in criminal activity along I-80. How you doing? Cool, sir. You got your license or registration? Yeah. All right. Oh, I'm sorry. They're taking every traffic stop just a little bit further. A lot of times at face value, these, you know, these can appear to be illegitimate, but he's got all the proper paperwork here. There are always arteries of travel for the criminal element, but when we're talking about the majority of the seizures that we've seen agency wide. It's I-80 from the Wyoming border to the Iowa border. It truly is a major pipeline of criminal activity. Focusing on drivers who tend to grab troopers' attention. You know, it's the drivers that are so nervous that they can't function when we're contacting them and they can't yeah. manipulate their, their license out of their wallet or they can't locate their paperwork because they're so nervous. In 2018, NSP sees more contraband than in any prior year, including fentanyl, hashish, heroin, methamphetamine, and THC products. Many of them more than doubled the amount from 2017. Lieutenant Matt Sutter says they're analyzing that data with hopes of staying ahead of the game and stopping it at the source. Once the contraband is seized or once the arrest is made roadside, a lot of people tend to think that we're done at that point, and it's in fact the opposite. That's just when we're getting started because at that point, then we move on to the more technical end of things where the cell phones are being downloaded and GPS units are being downloaded. We truly find out where these people are coming from and where they're headed, who they're in contact with. Now, during our two hour ride along, no contraband stops were made. NSP says, however, they're making these types of stops a big focus for them in 2019. Reporting from Troop A headquarters, Maya Sines, 3 News Now.